the Central Americans making their way towards the U.S. in a caravan through Mexico decided to move towards Mexico City. They're currently in the coastal state of Veracruz. Hundreds of migrants have disappeared in that area in recent years. Many have fallen to kidnappers looking for ransom payments. About 1,000 of the 4,000 migrants voted to now go to Mexico's capital to get medical care and rest. The caravan is still about 700 miles away from the U.S., and they're not expected to arrive for weeks. But as Maria Villarreal, Villarreal I should say, shows us, U.S. troops made preparations this weekend. Here along the banks of the Rio Grande River, there are bottles, there's clothing, there's food wrappers everywhere. Clear evidence that this is where migrants like to cross into the U.S. illegally. But now there's also this new barbed wire fence. It'll be used to fill the gaps where there is no border wall. Now, it was put in by U.S. troops, about 100 of them, over the weekend here in southern Texas. The Pentagon says now more than 7,000 U.S. troops are joining the nearly 2,100 National Guardsmen already assigned to the southern border. People who live and work, though, here in the Rio Grande Valley are split about the increased military presence. There are reports that this border deployment could cost upwards of $200 million by the end of the year. Now, just to give you some perspective, I'm about 5'2 on a good day, and this barbed wire fence stands at about four feet tall, roughly. So if you think about it, people can probably get over this fencing, but hopefully it'll actually slow them down. Video of Yarrell in South Texas.